Hi, Stampin' Friends. We don't have the mirror flipped tonight, so that's kind of a problem. But um, the problem also is that um, Facebook would not allow me to post a video. So I have the Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper, so we'll see how that works, um, what we think about it, that kind of thing. Um, the, the point, I guess, of it is that it has lots of great masculine um, things, like it has this one with a little fish, and the backside is a kind of a blue, um, well, I would call it weathered boards. So typically they're gray, but anyway. And then this one has lures, probably, I mean, to me, they look like fly fishing lures. And then this one has the, um, a nice little plaid, kind of an open window pane plaid. This has kind of a, if you turn it this way, it kind of looks like a, a ticking. And then this side has, um, kind of beige fly fishing on probably mossy meadow. And this one looks like pebbled path and our wild wheat, and it's kind of a nice plaid. And then we have this um, different multicolored fishes. Then we have a netting, which could also look like a chain link fence, you know, you never know. And then this has a um, rod and reel. And this is on the wild wheat as well. It also has the pebbled path. And this one kind of looks like um, a lake shore. The back side has like an old inaccurate map. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but it's kind of weird. It calls things like um, the middle ground. I don't know what that is. So anyway, that's what's um, on the paper. Let me tell you the colors real quick. It is... Boho Blue, Calypso Coral, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, uh, Pebbled Path, Pecan Pie, Petal Pink, Berry Vanilla, and Wild Wheat. And the fold we're gonna use tonight is a faux gatefold. So normally your gatefold would you know, meet in the middle. This gatefold is like this. So when you look at it, it looks like a gatefold, but that's not actually what it's gonna be. All right, so it's a little, it's gonna be a little hard for me to see this one because of the way that I am um, filming, but I can't find my bone folder. I don't know where it went. I had two or three and now I have zero. That happens sometimes. Um, but this paper is the Pebbled Path, our cardstock. And then I used this with it. And I was thinking I could, this one kind of shows you putting the cream or the whatever you want to call it on the inside. So you would just kind of those like that. And then you're going to put you're going to flip this over and that's not going to show, but that's going to be where you put your sentiment, where you sign it, that kind of thing, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and stick some of these down. Go ahead here. So I just want to make sure I get it going the right direction. I'm doing this upside down and try to show you. I don't know if that's going to work. I'll probably mess it up at some point. Okay, and then do the same with this one. And I will miss saying hi to all of you tonight. I apologize. I don't really know what's going on with Facebook, but I do believe that it is them since I tried it a couple of different ways and turned off my phone. The thing I wanted to kind of point out about this paper, I'm trying to kind of focus on the fish a little bit, but also focus on all the things that you can do with it. And um, if you don't have a fishing dad, husband, friend, whatever. Um, so this paper is definitely one for fish, but there are some that are surely not. So um, with this, I was just kind of wanting to show you that you could put a piece going across here like this, you could put your fish on the top, just kind of randomly around. You want them swimming the way they're actually going. I haven't seen a lot of pink fish around here, but this one has pink fish. So anyway, you could just put your fish on there around your sentiment as a possibility. So let's go ahead and 
do a happy Father's Day in our pebble path. I'm gonna stamp this so I can see it. If it works, it's kind of okay. It's a little bit dark as well. That's kind of too bad. But then I would just stick it on there. Just, I won't use very much adhesive so I can get it off if I decide to redo. There we are. So then all I'm gonna do on this part is just put adhesive only on one side so that I can open the card up. I'm just gonna put two strips. If you're worried about it coming apart, it's always a good idea to just use some um, of our tear tape. This is the, this is what I'm talking about, our tear tape. And that can make it a little more secure feeling for you. So I'm just gonna pop that right on there. And then at this point, I haven't cut out that many fish, so I'm just gonna kind of lay them on here and show you what I'm talking about. You just put them around there. Three is typically a good idea, but you can also go five if you wanna make it look like a, a really nice catch. So that's our first one. Next, I'm gonna show you this one. And the thing with it is I don't think you necessarily have to include fish. So for this one, I just put the inner piece as these waves. Whoopsie. Like this. Oops. And I still didn't quite get it like I wanted, of course. That's one of my biggest things is getting my paper quite straight. And then, and you can see if you wanted to make it, it could be really cute if you put your fish on this way, then you could use this as your, the square turned on its side as your, as a little diamond. You could put your sentiment in here on maybe, whoopsie, if I can get it loose, yeah, on this square, and then put some of the little blue fishies here. Now this one actually, um, if you're using this side, you'd probably wanna use very vanilla. This is one of those, um, cards, we've, we've had this now lately with our designer series paper. Some look like they have yellow and some definitely have white. So this one looks white on the background. This one looks very vanilla. Um, you can kind of do both or you can um, choose whichever one you think is the most important to make the, the uh, main color or whatever. But you can see this side is fine with the Whisper White. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Enter that as best I can. Okay. And then, oh, where is my happy birthday? I do need a happy birthday. This is with the um, little pirate type set. It's a little bit too small for this, but that's all right. We'll make do. Okay, I'm gonna pop this over. And I'm gonna look for my Misty Moonlight. I think that's a great one to have for, with this paper because that's my card base color. And then I think I might use the smaller one. I'll do my happy birthday going this way. Wish me luck. Eh, not so good, but that's all right. And I'm thinking if I put another color of blue under this instead of the white, that that would look kind of cute and perfect. Now I can do it this way or I can do it this way, just kind of make my own decision and then maybe add some um, some twine or some ribbon or something like that with some of these colors in it. Okay, now for my last one. Oh, I was also gonna mention this. Again, we have this um, every day with you is an adventure. That's a perfect one, I think. It looks kind of nautical with the fishes as well. I use this with the um, pirate paper and it looks really cute with this as well. I mean, the pirate stamp set, it looks really cute with that as well. Okay. Then this one, um, it is a white background, which seems a little strange with the pecan pie. 
And you can see here that the background of this is the very vanilla. So try, I think they're trying to make it where we, where we have more uses for very vanilla because if the backgrounds are um, all white, we're not gonna use a whole, whole lot of um, very vanilla. So that can make a difference. So these backgrounds are white. And again, on this one, I'm going back to my appearance here of, of having the faux gatefold. This one, I, you're not fooled by this at all. But um, this one, I think, is a little bit of a surprise. And let's see here. Let's do a thank you this time. With Oh, not with our misty moonlight. Okay, hold on. <laughs> one second. I do not want misty moonlight for my thank you. I want my pecan pie. It is such a rich, um, nice brown. I do like it very much. Oh, that was another one I thought we could put with that because just because that was my other thought I was gonna say, just because these colors look kind of masculine, if you have a friend that loves being by the ocean or something like that and the boardwalk, this is a perfect one to use for her as well. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be completely limited, even though it's nice to have a masculine set. So there you can see, just kind of did a thank you. And then on this one, I thought it would be fun to pop our fish on here like this. And I would probably use a few more of the ones that have brown on them rather than blue on them. But this might be if someone takes you fishing or takes your child fishing and you wanna say thank you to them. And um, I think that makes a perfect um, way to do that. Um, I don't know if you guys live in the country, then that's probably not a thing. But for me, I would have to be, even myself, I would have to be taken fishing. So there would always be someone for my dad to say, oh, thanks man for taking my kid to fish. So anyway, so some, usually my uncles or somebody like that. So also these um, are our in color gems and they are gonna look great, several of these with this. The um, Pebbled Path or even some of the, I know our fishes here have a lot of yellow in them. Oh, I don't know that you can even see those. There we go. Um, that would be great to put on here. Or of course the blue would bring out, you could bring out blue as a color scheme instead and add that to your card. Now, if you want more masculine things, we of course have those um, really nice metal uh, that where it looks kind of golden, kind of a golden brass color. And um, those would be really cute on there as well. So I hope I've given you some ideas. Certainly I've given you a fun fold. We know that for sure. Um, but I hope that I've given you some ideas that you can use to um, create some cards with this paper and do some, cut out some cute little fish and put them on here and um, create a card for your favorite person that loves to fish. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.